Okay, so I needed to make this one real quick. Apple is not a company that, quote, builds in public. They're pretty secretive about what they do, and they do put out a new product or feature. It's usually backed by a pretty uh, confident marketing campaign. So it's a little interesting that this week, while CES is going on, Apple just sort of doles out a little press release about how they're using AI text-to-speech generating software for authors in the Apple bookstore who don't have an audiobook to create one with AI. Interestingly, in classic Apple fashion, because they don't want to seem like they're jumping on a trend, they put out this big, long, thousand-word press release, whatever it was, and they didn't use the word AI or artificial intelligence. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. But is that a canary in the coal mine for what Apple is going to do with AI in 2023 and beyond? So OG tech blogger Robert Scoble seems to think so. He's been tweeting now for months about 2023 being the year that Apple really doubles down on AI, and they've done almost nothing with it so far. He thinks this is the year Siri becomes an AI. Right now, she, it, him, her, they, whatever it is, is a prompt-based algorithm and it's useful if you know what to ask it, set a timer, remind you about something, ask the weather, a quick calculation. I use her all the time, but I know I can't have a conversation with her, it, like I can with ChatGPT, you can actually output new information for me. But for the last few years, Apple has been including these M1 and M2 chips in their MacBooks and iPads and super powerful chips in their iPhones, and all have this neural network in them. And up to 20% of the new M2 chip is a neural network. What does that mean? It's machine learning. So we can take information that it sees and it can put output. It's not just a prompt-based algorithm. To date, Apple hasn't done much with that, but man, are they in a position to do something with it. And that is AI. So what does that mean for Apple? Well, they're notoriously private, not only themselves, but with their customers' information. And one of the things you need to have a successful AI is a lot of input. So it'd be interesting to see what, if anything, Apple has been collecting from those devices, what APIs it's using, has that information been encrypted, and what is the output gonna be? Chances are they know a lot about use cases for the products, maybe not specifics. I guarantee you Apple's not reading your emails, but they know exactly how you use your device and how the world uses its devices. And that's a lot of information being collected by these chips. So if this is the year Siri becomes an AI, it would make sense that Apple is doubling down on this space because they have the capability. Okay, so what does a future look like where Apple is an AI company? Maybe Siri is more conversive. Maybe she can have unbelievable outputs. Think if ChatGPT could talk to you right now where you could just turn to your device and say, hey, ChatGPT, tell me the weather but then also make me a plan for this evening based on the weather and traffic. That would be generative AI and that would be chat GPT. And if you could do that, think about what Siri could give you and how she could help plan your day. Okay, there's that. Let's go one step further. Let's push the bounds just a little bit. Everyone believes Apple is coming out with AR and VR glasses this year, similar to MetaQuest. These are goggles that go on your head and they could be a gaming device, an interactive, interactive device, a VR device. And apparently Apple's gonna have a button that you can switch between the virtual world and the actual world with augmented reality overlays. Cool, very interesting. But it's really probably proof of concept techs, uh, uh, proof of concept tech that shows where they might be going next. Goggles are cool, but they're an experience. No one's walking around the street with giant goggles on their face. Even though you might do that with headphones, you're gonna look weird. Goggles are not the future, but it does show what the tech could be. And Apple is rumored over the next couple of years to be coming out with something more akin to glasses that layer augmented reality over your eyeballs. Why are they so well positioned to do this? Well, they have the best chips and they're low power. So they have low power chips that are capable of doing machine learning, that's one. Two is Apple is probably the only tech company that the masses trust to put technology on their body. I'm wearing an Apple Watch. It's the most popular watch in the world. And it's not gonna be Microsoft. It's not gonna be Google. It's not gonna be Facebook who come up with the thing that you put on your face. If there's one company that can create something that the population of the world would entertain wearing on their body, it's probably Apple. So now you have the data in the chips, you have the ability to create the devices, and now you have all the touch points and scale of iPhones, Macs, watches, headphones, AirPods, right? People are already walking around with Apple in their pockets and on their body. If you think about a world where Apple can overlay information, you're driving down the street and they can overlay 
directions in your glasses. Okay, fine, that's an obvious use case. They can, you look left and you see an ice cream store and they can overlay the price or the hours for that store. And then all the while, the machine and their chips are learning about what you like and can make recommendations, can show you prices, can tell you to look left because there's something you might like to see. Whatever it is, like we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here, but ultimately Apple is the company to really capitalize on this blurring of the lines between man and machine. And they haven't done much yet, but I don't think they're gonna stop with text to voice audiobook software. It might just be a canary in the coal mine for what they have up in the future and what they're planning with AI. So if you like this video and you found it interesting, make sure to give us a like down below, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, let us know what you would like us, like us to make a video about next, and be sure to visit our website, smokingrobot.ai, where we bring you the latest AI tools, plugins, and apps that make you money and save you time. So go to smokingrobot.ai, subscribe to our newsletter, get the latest AI tools and apps, and we'll be back here every day with a video and every day in your inbox weekdays with our newsletter, smokingrobot.ai. Thanks for watching.